This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button on the YouTube algorithm stuff so you can get the videos I put them out. See them things, see me analyzing that data. Listen, I have, I, I've told y'all in the past, I have AMC and Ape on different platforms and different brokerages. Okay? And I got an email. I, well, I've been getting the emails all week. But today, I decided to open up the email and see what's going on with one of my brokerages. And the proxy that I was given for my Ape shares, this one account, I have 500 AMC and I have 2,000 Apes. But when I opened up the email for my proxy vote, I had 2,000 Ape shares that were votable. But when I opened up the AMC email, it said I only had 41 votable shares. So I automatically sent them a, a, a message as to what happened to my other 459 shares that's in that account. And I am still waiting on a response. So as far as I'm concerned, they're telling me that 459 of my shares are counterfeit shares. And this is something that the SEC needs to look into. I know I am not the only one who has X amount of shares. And then when they got the proxy, the proxy vote, it was for a whole lot less than the shares that they actually have in their account. To me, this is overwhelming evidence of the fraud and corruption that's in the market. And the SEC, the DTCC, FINRA, CFTC and the Department of Justice needs to investigate this. How does my account or this one account have 500 AMC shares, but they're telling me I only have 41 voting AMC shares? It is absolutely outrageous. So everybody, when you get these emails from your brokers, please verify that the amount of shares that's in your account is the amount of shares that you're able to vote with your proxy. Make sure those numbers are exact. And if those numbers are not the same, please contact your broker and let them know and ask them where are your proxy voting shares. Anyway, please leave some comments and tell me, have any of you guys received proxy votes that were less than the amount of shares that you had in your brokerage account? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.